Hi, I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics, and this is NBA Shooting Secrets Kyle Korver Edition, but it's going to be a little bit different because we're going to talk about his off-ball movement. All right, so the other night I saw a highlight where Kyle Korver scorched the Milwaukee Bucks for 11 points in one minute. Now, as a shooting coach, what really impressed me wasn't that he made that many shots in a minute, but it was his off-ball movement and how he got his looks. So today I wanted to break it down and see if you can get the exact same looks in your games. Also, don't forget, if you want to learn to shoot like Kyle Korver, click the button up there or the link in the description to get a free copy of my top three favorite shooting secrets. It's a perfect foundation to get a lights out stroke. All right, let's take a look at Kyle Korver and how he gets these shots. All right, so the first bucket he gets is pretty typical that any shooter is going to get, and it's just a catch and shoot stepping into the jump shot. Now, a lot of shooters only practice reps like this, so these are the only shots that they can hit in the game. But what I love about Kyle Korver is he can hit out of any situation. Watch on the very next possession off of a missed shot, he puts his head down and sprints out trying to beat everyone down the floor. Kyle Korver's not the fastest guy on the floor, but just out of sheer effort, he's already beat everybody but one person down the floor. As a shooter, I always think of it as a race to half court. I try to be the first person to half court, that way I'm going to have an edge once we get to the other end of the floor. And because he's such a great shooter, now all he needs is a little pump fake to get the defender to fly by, and he gets a wide open jumper. So his second bucket is really just caused by effort and getting out and running the floor, something that a lot of shooters don't take advantage of. Now his next two buckets he gets off of what I like to call the roundabout, and that's where you run towards the ball handler and then get a pitch back. What's great about shooting off of the roundabout is you generally get a great look even if the defense is trying to stop you from shooting. So this is a good way to get a great look in late game situations or when the defense knows you're trying to get a three. In this game, he's already hit two threes in a row and the defense does not want him to get a third and with the roundabout, he's still able to get a clean look. So now he's hit three threes in a row and he's one of the best shooters in the NBA. There's no way the defense is going to give him another look, right? Well, think again. Check out how he receives the pitch back. His teammate blocks his defender, and because he's coming at the opposite angle, there's enough space between him and the other defender to get his shot off. The roundabout's a super simple trick, but wildly effective in getting an open look. So you can see that being able to hit shots doesn't really matter unless you're able to get those shots. So it's really, really important to learn how to move off of the ball and you can get great looks. Don't forget, you can also show us a little love with a like, a comment, or a subscription. It helps the channel grow and I really, really do appreciate it. Also in the comment section, let me know what you want to see next. This really is a channel for the people, by the people, and even a topic like this I found because somebody left it in the comment section below. All right, again, I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics. Get those shooting secrets. Get your J on point. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Splash on. Yeah. <laughs>